Hi everyone, today we are going to set up Prometheus Alert Manager and configure Prometheus to use it. If you have watched my previous tutorials about monitoring stack, then you are good to start this tutorial. If you haven't watched it yet, then I recommend you to watch them because there I have shown how to set up Prometheus, Node Exporter and Grafana. If you don't want to watch a video, then you can also install monitoring stack by following the steps that are shown in this tutorial. I will add all the links to the description of this video. Anyway, let's start to set up our alert manager. So what is alert manager? It's a great alert management system which can easily receive alerts that are sent by the exporter, for example, Prometheus node exporter, and send the alerts to different receivers like email, message, select channel, and etc. We are going to set up alert manager as a systemd service. I have one Linux machine, so the distribution is CentOS, it is CentOS 9, and I have already installed and configured Prometheus and Node Exporter on this machine. I just connected to CentOS 9 machine using SSH, because for me it is easier to work on my local terminal. First of all, let's see that Prometheus and Node Exporter service are running or not, so I'm gonna use systemctl status let's check Prometheus sorry Prometheus okay it is running that's fine then let's also check node exporter it's also active and running now we are going to follow all the steps that are shown in this blog post so first of all we have to download the alert manager file so let's just open this link and for now the latest stable version is 0.25.0 so you just need to copy this link address of course it is linux and then you can use vget and paste the link and press enter it will download all the files i used vget but of course you can use curl command as well it doesn't matter and as a next step, let's see that what we have here. Of course, we have to extract all the files to some directory. Just copy the command, paste it here. So we have directory and also we have this compressed file. I'm going to delete it. Alert manager. Okay. Of course, we need to create some folders. Let's just create them. And we have to copy all the files to the directories. So first of all, we are going to copy alert manager. This is the binary file to start the alert manager. So we're going to copy it to our bin directory. Then we have configuration file, alert manager.yaml. We're gonna copy it to the alert manager configuration directory. And then we have this tool, alert manager tool. So this is just command line interface tool that is used to interact with alert manager API. So let me copy all of them and just paste it here. Then we are going to create, of course, alert manager user and we're going to implement all the permissions. So we have to create alert manager user then we are going to change the ownership of this binary file to alert manager group and user and under this directory for the each file we have to apply this permission i mean sorry this ownership so group and user will be alert manager and of course it's also applicable for this directory okay let's just copy all of them so Maybe let's check one of them. So etc alert manager. For example, we have this configuration file and the user and the group owner of this file is alert manager. Now it is time to create systemd unit file. But before that, I would like to show you one more thing. If you remember, we have already copied this binary file alert manager to user local bin. Let's go to that directory user local bin 
and we have this alert manager you can easily start alert manager using this binary file you have to type dot slash alert manager okay it gives us some error so i see that it says component configuration loading compression file failed no such file or directory okay i think i understand it so if you just start alert manager without specifying the configuration file then it means that this alert manager binary file understands the configuration file is in the same directory with this binary file but let's see lsl but actually we don't have this configuration file that's why we have to provide the configuration file pass so i'm gonna use alert manager then we have one parameter sorry config dot file then equal to let's give the pass of this configuration file so it is etc then alert manager and alert manager dot yaml let's press enter okay seems we don't have any errors i think it works and please also notice that it says address 2.port 1993 so this is the default port for alert manager now let's open the browser so i'm gonna use let's open this firefox so basically it's in our local system so it means that if we type localhost 1993 it should work localhost dot great it works if we stop it let's just stop this process by pressing ctrl c and if we go here refresh the page so it is unable to connect so it works basically let's go back so this is how you start alert manager using its binary file but we need to create systemd service file because it's a lot easier to work systemd services okay so we added our user so everything is okay so i'm gonna create this service file and we are going to paste this content press i paste save the file basically it will just do the same thing if we again use this alert manager binary file then it will provide the config file pass and then storage pass so that's it after creating the systemd file then we have to reload the demo and we're going to enable alert manager so enable means that it will start at the boot or during the boot time and then we are going to start alert manager as well let's copy all of them It seems everything is okay. Let's see the status of alert manager. So status alert manager. Okay, it is active and running. So everything works. Sometimes it's possible that these ports, alert manager port, is blocked by the firewall D service. So if it's the case, then you're just going to copy all these commands and run it in your Linux machine. It seems that some images are not loading properly, but I will fix it later. Okay, then we have to configure Alert Manager 2. So basically, as I said before, this tool is just a CLI command line interface tool for interacting with Alert Manager API. We are going to use this tool to check the configuration file. So we are going to create the configuration file for this tool. So let's copy let's add it here and just paste this content which just gives the alert manager url so which is localhost then port which is 1993 paste it here save and then verify that this tool works just copy it so the tool this alert manager tool is placed under user local bin we are going to use this tool to show the current configuration press enter okay it works so this is the current configuration of alert manager everything is fine 
We already installed and set up Alert Manager, but now it is time to configure Prometheus to use Alert Manager because otherwise you can't send any alert to Alert Manager. So we are going to open the Prometheus configuration file. And then it says that delete commented line, this line, Alert Manager 1993, and then add your own alert manager URL which is localhost what is that localhost manager I think it's just a typo it should be localhost 2.9093 anyway I'm going to write it so we have these where is the locates here we have alert manager configuration this in this promises configuration file and you just need to replace this line with localhost. So I'm gonna write localhost and just remove the comment. Let's save the file. Then it says just restart Prometheus. Let's do that. We restart it. And to verify the alert manager is reachable by the Prometheus, open Prometheus UI. As you see that Prometheus runs on port 1990. Let's just type it here. Localhost port 1990. Okay, this is our Prometheus. And in the blog post it says to verify that alert manager is reachable, we have to execute this query. We just need to write Prometheus Prometheus notifications and the first one is our query. Let's execute. So you see that the number is one, the output is one. It means that the alert manager is reachable by the Prometheus. Okay, now it is time to create the alert and test the alert manager. But before that, we can just send post request to alert manager in order to see this alert so this is just a test alert so the status will be firing and we have alert name buggy kiss test alert it doesn't matter actually you can use any name here test service warning test bugs.academy.com you can just write anything you want but we have to send this request let's copy first of all before that let's check how it looks in alert manager so in alert manager we don't have any alerts right now i'm going to run this post request press enter it is sent i believe let's refresh the page yes it is here so it says alert name bugix academy test alert it means that the alert manager works and let's follow the steps so if you get this error Actually, we got this error as well. So I just ignore it, it doesn't matter. And then open the alert manager UI. So we already did that, we see the alert. And then we are going to create a real alert. But it will be simple, but it is a real alert. So in order to do that, we have to create some file. I mean, the rules file, alert rules file. So it will be located under etc Prometheus. Right now, if we check that, ls let me just use cd so lsl etc prometheus so under prometheus we have configuration file then you have console libraries and consoles and we also need to create the alert rules files there so let's do that touch etc prometheus then our file ls now we have other rules file and then we need to paste this alert to this file so let's open it name etc prometheus alert rules this is just a simple alert so it will be activated when the memory usage is more than one percent actually here it is 90 percent 
but let's just set it to one because usually threshold like is set to 90 percent but for now there are no processes that use high memory that's why i will set it to one percent to just receive the alert okay let's save this file and then i believe we have to tell the prometheus where we should look for the alert rules i mean we have to define this file name we have to give this file name to the prometheus so we have to write in this prometheus configuration file let's open it pulley btc prometheus prometheus.yaml and paste the following content in the rules file section okay basically this is your file name that we just created you have to give this pass you have to give this name to prometheus i already did it before so basically if you just installed fresh prometheus here it will be written first rule and then second rule you just need to delete all two lines and just need to write this alert.rules.yaml and that's it save the file then we have to restart it i believe yes we have to restart prometheus and if we go to prometheus ui we will see the alerts in is in pending state and let's check the prometheus let's refresh the page let's go to alerts here as you see that alert is in pending state it means that alert is activated but it is not sent to alert manager yet let's refresh one more time so if we go to alert manager as you see that alert is not here since we set alert firing time to one minute after one minute this state will switch to firing state and if it is in the firing state then it means that alert will be sent to alert manager let's refresh this okay it is in the firing state by the way you can just press here you can see the full alert then we should see the alert in alert manager let's refresh yes it is here And by the way, if you want to fire the alert when threshold reach 90%, then you will just need to change the threshold value from 1 to 90. Let's go back. So basically, you just need to write 90 here. We change it to 1, but you can just write 90. Because otherwise, you will always see the alert. Okay, that's all about this video. We successfully installed and configured Prometheus Alert Manager. So basically, Alert Manager is a necessary component of the Prometheus monitoring system that can manage alerts, group them, deduplicate them, and route them to various receivers such as email, pager duty, Slack, or other notification channels. We just outlined a step-by-step -step guide to set up the Alert Manager and configure Prometheus to use it. So that's it. Bye. See you in the next video.